Kia ora, Year 12 and 13. Um, this is another excellence question from the 2015 differentiation paper. I've called this one the street light and its shadow. Okay, so um, the question's coming up now. It is a uh, related rates problem. All right, um, so as I've said in the last video, when we get questions like this, we've got to read them really, really carefully. I'll just center that a bit. Okay, a street light is five meters above the ground, which is flat. A boy who is 1.5 metres tall, is walking away from the point directly below the street light at 2 metres per second. Okay, so we're going to underline that. That's, that's a rate of change there that's going to help us. At what rate is the length of his shadow changing when the boy is 8 metres away from the point directly under the light? Okay, so we'll say let the distance from light to boy be x and then we're going to have a second variable let his shadow be should really be shadow length let his shadow, shadow length be l we're going to mark some things on the triangle now um, and we'll draw that out again so this is 5 this distance here is 5. This distance here is 1.5. This dis distance is x, and this distance is l. So if you've done enough practice out of delta, you should be thinking this looks like a similar triangles thing, and we're looking for dl by dt when x equals 8. So I think the biggest mistake to make in these problems is when you're reading through to start thinking too soon about the 8. Um, I do that sometimes and it makes it really really hard to, to go backwards. So try and think generally about what derivative are we trying to find first and then don't do any substitution in until later on. So the derivative we're looking for here is the length of the shadow changing and it's a rate with respect to time. So we're, we're hunting for dl by dt. And we should be good to go now because we're going to have two similar triangles. So on the next slide, I'm going to draw things out. You probably want to pause the video at this point and try to write down something with the chain rule. So we're looking for this derivative, dx by dt, and it's going to equal something times something. Or it might be something times something times something. But that's the next step, so try that now. Okay, so here comes my big triangle. This is 5, and this distance here, here's the boy. This is x, and this is l. Here's my little triangle. This is l, and the boy is 1.5 metres tall. Now, we know they're similar triangles because we've got this angle, and this angle haven't changed, they're common to both. This is a right angle in both, and this angle is coming from the top of the street lamp. So we know they're similar because we've got three angles the same. That means that the ratio of the sides must be the same. So here, those two must have the same relationship as those two. So let's write that out. We've got 1.5 over L is equal to 5 over X plus L. Now that means I can get a link between X and L which could come in handy because my chain rule relationship is going to be this. I'm going to put the second derivative in here first. We know dx by dt. This is how quickly the boy is walking away. And so now, to figure out the rate of change of the shadow, L, I want dl by dx. And you can see that we're going to be able to get that pretty soon from the similar triangle relationship. So what we're going to do now is manipulate this, and this will give me, let's see, 1.5 times x plus L is equal to 5L, 1.5x equals 3.5L, 
Um, people in my class know that I'm hating the decimals in here, but I will leave them like they are. I will leave them as they are. X equals 3.5 L over 1.5, which just looks so bad. So X is equal to 7 L over 3. So at this point you should be feeling pretty happy because we can get a link between X and L here. Um, I need a new slide. Right, so we've got X is equal to 7 thirds L dx by dl is equal to 7 thirds, which means that dl by dx is equal to 3 sevenths. If you don't like that, time to go and do some revision in delta. Um, but in this case, we could very easily not have used the reciprocal relationship here. We could have written l is equal to 3 sevenths x, and we could have got dl by dx directly. Right. But either way, we are good to go now. We've got dl by dt is equal to dl by dx times dx. Oh, something bad's happened there. dx by dt. So that equals 3 sevenths times 2, which is equal to 6 sevenths. And now we need to think about units in there. Right, so dl by dt is equal to 6 sevenths. And that needs to be, so at what rate is the length of his shadow changing? So it should be metres per second. And that works out to be 0 0.857 metres per second, and that's to 3 dp. Okay, so the length of his shadow is changing, da 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 da, okay, at this rate. Okay, so just notice that in this problem we didn't use x equals 8 anywhere, right? We just didn't need that. The, the length of shadow is changing at a, at a rate that is not affected by how far away he is. Um, and you can see that coming through because of our derivative being dl by dx. So as x changes, for every one unit increase in distance, there is a three sevenths of a metre increase in the shadow length. Okay, so it's not affected by how far away he is to start with. All right, so um, hopefully you're getting the hang of it. It's chain rule over and over and using something to give you a link between the variables. Okay, and in this case, the something with similar triangles. Thanks for watching. Sorry this was a bit long. Um, do go back to 14.2 in Delta if you want some harder practice questions that are not quite as hard as the excellence ones.